Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I got some game plan tips for the new legendary bounty that just came out, Sergio Vincenza. If you haven't seen the trailer, I'm gonna shut up now. I'll be back in about a minute. We'll get into the video. Was gonna kill the governor if they didn't find him out. And who can guess how many minds he poisoned? Talking that collectivist nonsense. Stopping this loud mouth is what the law was made for. Ain't gonna be easy though. I heard he's bedded in deep with a bunch of these zealots. Oh, and he's a former military sharpshooter, too. <laughs> My brother, liberty will be shackled at all cost. That is how government works. I used to use this rifle to fight for them, but now it is turned the other way. Whatever happens, we must be strong, amigo. All right, so some tips for this mission. Make sure you guys have some tonics, maybe either a shotgun and a repeater or a shotgun and a rifle, as well as a couple good handguns just to get yourself out of a jam. You will have a couple of different groups of enemies, so I'm going to recommend that you guys open up your mini-map, check out where the first set of guards are, go attack them first, try to kill everybody that you can that is around the main camp and tower where Sergio was hiding. And uh, that's going to really come in handy because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to notice that you're going to end up getting surrounded. And Sergio is up on a tower and he's an expert marksman. So he will be taking shots at you. His shots are pretty lethal. It's only going to take a couple to kill you. So try not to get yourself caught up being surrounded. Go ahead and kill all the people that you can surrounding the camp. And then go ahead and move into the camp and use some cover. As you see, duck, use the hills, use trees, rocks. Try to make sure that you're not getting attacked by multiple enemies at once. Obviously, you want to make sure that you don't get killed. If you're doing this by yourself, especially. And this is the second time through it. And I would actually was kind of surprised the ending was a lot easier than it was the first time. It could be a couple different factors for that. But we'll go ahead and get into it. So far, out of all the legendary bounties, this is probably the one that I enjoyed the most. Some of them are better than others, you know, if you're with a team, basically anything's fun, but if you're doing these solo, this one is kind of a little slow at times, and it kind of picks up the pace. I do enjoy the fact that you have to use strategy, I like using cover, being strategic. Like I said, your weapon loadout is going to be pretty important here, especially when you start getting up to the camp, or if you do get surrounded. You want to be able to have some quick firing weapons, whether it's a shotgun or some handguns. You could also change up the tactics and keep your distance and just try to snipe everybody from a distance if you want, making life easier for you. As I said, the first time through this one, I kind of used the same exact strategy. I ended up starting this mission from Emerald Station and it kind of put me a little southwest of the camp. This time I started, I think, southeast or east of the camp so it does change things a little bit i know directly south of the camp there is a house where there's a couple of enemies so it real all depends on which town you go to and which bounty post you start at where you're going to end up spawning in in this mission so with that being said after you kill everybody around the area go ahead and make your way up to the camp as i said it's probably the smartest idea not to be in the open because as you see, I am getting picked off by a couple different directions. And then you'll notice, once I end up getting up to the camp, you also have Sergio, who is sniping you. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, his shots are pretty lethal. You can see he's in the tower right there. So make sure if you guys are auto-aiming, you obviously don't want to aim on him and take him out. Or else you're going to lose some cash and XP in the process. Once you start getting close to the camp, you'll notice that your screen will stop pulsating. You'll hear a heartbeat. Basically, I think that means that you're within his lethal kill range. So keep that in mind as you are trying to take everybody out. Try to stay in somewhat of cover so he's not going to go ahead and pick you off. Make sure you're quick on those tonics if you need to take them or eat some meat. Something to go ahead and regenerate some health. Also, you might want to go ahead and use some decent damage fortifying or damage regenerating ability cards. And, you know, that's going to basically be up to you. Plenty of different tactics on how you can go ahead and approach this. 
but this is just the way that I did it. I tried to keep my distance, take out as many as I could before I started to rush him. I think I killed everybody before I ended up getting to him, and then you'll see I just kind of rushed the tower, used some cover so he couldn't get a shot on me, and then you'll see what happens from there. I was going to go ahead and upload this video about an hour, hour and a half ago. Unfortunately, you know, I've already uploaded three videos today, and I hate spamming videos. So I do have another video, unfortunately, that I think I'm going to go ahead and release tonight. It's something that I've been working on. It was actually a friend of mine who came up with the idea, and I've been doing some testing on it. And I just want to make sure after today's update that it still works before I go ahead and even mention it or do any kind of video on it. So as we start to approach, you'll know the enemies kind of thin out. You could go ahead and loot the enemies if you want. I'm sure you can get some valuables. Just keep in mind while you are looting them, you're a sitting duck. And uh, even with the nice animation that Rockstar added where it's a quick loot, you still are in his range. He's perched up pretty high and he can basically get an aim on you from anywhere, you know, roughly in this general area. So now, use some cover, use the tents, rocks, carriages, horses, whatever you want to do once you're running up to the tent. And both times it's a little tough when you get up the stairs, he, he's sitting there aimed right on you. I ended up trying to lasso him here, hit the railing, and then friggin' point blank range right to my face, he takes a shot or two, so I got kind of lucky that I did have my health kind of full, and um, you'll see right here, just go ahead and lasso him, hog tie him, and then now another good tip here is before you go ahead and take him down the stairs, try to see if there's anybody that you can pick off while you're perched up high, once you go ahead and take people out, go ahead and carry him, but you might want to go ahead and pull out most likely your right-handed firearm whether that is a pistol or a revolver because as soon as you start taking him down the stairs you will notice there will be a guy who spawns miraculously right in this tower somewhere and there's a couple other guys that end up approaching you while you're trying to throw him on your horse or if you have that bounty wagon you can go ahead and use that but you don't really need it for this mission and to be honest with you you're probably going to be more of a sitting duck because once you start to take him and escape from the camp you're gonna notice there's gonna be a lot more enemies that end up spawning in so you might be better off just using your horse making a fast getaway or you could sit patiently and take everybody out now the big difference between the first time I did this and the second time I did it even though this time I kind of got him on the horse and took off I had a lot more people chasing after me the first time I did it I was really shocked that once I left the immediate area of the camp I didn't have too many people chasing me until like the very end when I got on the railroad just right outside of Ansburg, all of a sudden like three or four people ended up spawning and trying to do something. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip through a little bit of this because it gets kind of boring. As I said, feel free to just kill the remaining guys here. But as you keep killing these guys, more guys will spawn in on you. So uh, just keep that in mind again if you need to. Use some cover. Be cautious so that you don't die at this stage of the mission. It would be a shame to get yourself killed right toward the end. So this mission, I guess you could wait more time to get more XP and gold and cash. I ended up kind of just running through it because I got some other things to do. I think I ended up getting $35, 364 XP, and 24 gold nuggets, which I was fine with. I'm more worried at this point just completing the mission. I don't really care about the extra XP with everything that you can make with the you know collector roll and that type of stuff. I'm not really sweating a couple bucks here or there. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully this doesn't spoil it for you. You know, go out and try it. Let me know your thoughts. And hopefully I will be back on later. I apologize for the spam, but I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys next time.